I'm gonna go up to the canvas here. Let me explain something. This is a 16 by 20 prime canvas, and we have a thin white oil medium on this. The colors I use, we'll put them on the screen for you as we go. All right, I got my two inch brush. Let's go up to the canvas and remember, paint and make it happen. Let's go into the cobalt blue. Using my two inch brush, I'm just loading it up and I'm tapping because it loads it evenly. Okay, just like this. All right, go up to the top of the canvas and if you'll look, I'm doing X strokes just like this right across through there, see that? Work my way down. Work my way down. Let me reload right quick. I don't have quite enough. There we go. It's doing good now. kind of give you a good workout but it's good for you be good for you you get some dark spots just simply stay in that spot and work them out let's bring this on down we'll paint that back and forth to remove my brush strokes so it'll be nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. But you can already see how the sky's got dimension in Let's take care of this little spot right here before we stop. Okay. Now then we've got that thing. Alright, I'm going to reach down here and get a fan brush. Let's go put some clouds in the sky. Using the titanium white, I'm going to load this brush up really good. I don't want to I don't want the paint, let me say this, I don't want the paint to come up into the ferrules back up here in the back part as you can see I have a lot of paint in there but if it cakes up in the back then that will cause your brush not to perform correctly and your brush won't last as long. Let's go up here to the top. Let's make one big cloud today right up in here doing circles using the corner of that brush. Flip it over. You run out of paint. You got a whole other side there. Let's bring that right on over there. Let me reload right quick. Let's go right up here. See that? Pretty simple. Let's just do some of this. See there? That'll make that cloud look like he just fades right out, like he's come rushing up to you to meet you. <laughs> good things happen. It's always good. All right, stop right there. I believe that's enough. Let me get a, uh, I'm using a one inch brush here, clean one. And I'm gonna use just the top corner to blend this. So, just gently blend like this. See there? And remember that the paint we're using, we use oil paints. Not acrylics, they're not water-based, they're oil paints. All right, let's blend some of this out here. And gently hold the brush down like this. I want to pull up, but I want to pull up at an angle, either that way or this way. So let's go this way. Seems like you can see that a little better. Very gentle. I mean, no pressure. No pressure at all. See that? Then gently go back and forth. Got to talk quiet. It helps. I need everything to help sometimes. <laughs> but it makes it nice. Nice little effect. See that? I bet you can do that pretty easy. You're probably sitting back waiting on me. That's okay. Alright. I think we've got our cloud done. Okay, I'm going to use a 2 inch brush and let's put in some background trees right here. 
We can do that by simply tapping. Let's go into the Van Dyke Brown. Tap straight down like this. And let's add just a little bit of the ivory black. Just a little. Adding a little bit of the titanium white kind of lightens up the mixture. You gotta get that tonal value right because things in the distance are lighter and they gradually get dark as they come to you. Okay, tapping just like that. Let's start right here. Let's just tap in some shapes and designs. Out a little cloud back there. Okay. Load a few colors there. Let's go right over here. Right. Just put in a few little trees and all different sorts. But you want them to be kind of dark. You don't want them to have a lot of these open spots in here. So let's take care of that right quick. automatically okay let's see. we're finished with that let's go and put some tree trunks in okay using my liner brush and some linseed oil that I dipped into and a little bit of this ivory black let's go on that mix a little bit more of that black in there and get it real thin like ink and if you'll twist through the brush like this right here twist the paint Okay, go right here. I don't want to stick right there in the center, but look how good that paint flows. See that? Flows really nice. Really, really nice. Reload. Let's go right here. Maybe there's a little one right there. A lot of these will disappear when we put our highlights on, but it's fun to practice with them and put them in. It's always fun. Maybe it's closer, leaning just a little bit. Okay. Here up in here. They're just everywhere. Just everywhere. A few here and there. That's always nice. All right. I think that'll work. Okay then. I'm going to go into some highlights. We're having a one inch brush. I'm going to use just a little bit of the linseed oil to tap into on the one inch brush. Let's go into some of the white and maybe some of the Indian yellow. Get some of that yellow, just a little bit of the cobalt. Let's make our own green. Remember, yellow and blue make what? They make green. I like to make my own green. Tap down. Let's go to this tree right over here. Go slightly above. Just tap. See that? He's already got it. But them darks behind it make him have some shadow. Make him have some nice shadow. These colors work really well together. This one's got that. Skip around, notice I didn't just keep going in order. Let's move around here, these colors.